Think back to a time when you visited a company's website and looked at a product but left without making a purchase. Maybe you were still considering whether or not you wanted to buy it or you just got distracted by something else. Then, a little later, you saw an ad for the same product on one of your social media profiles. That's remarketing in practice. To review, remarketing or retargeting displayed paid ads on target customers who have visited your website, app or social media profile. Remarketing gives you another opportunity to reach potential leads or customers. By increasing the number of times customers see your ads, you help ensure that your brand will be in their minds when they're evaluating their purchase options. Remarketing also helps companies personalize their marketing. Rather than displaying ads to random users, remarketing targets previous visitors and creates a personalized experience for them. This can lead to more conversions. Let's talk a bit about how remarketing works. As we discussed earlier in the program, remarketing can be used with various digital marketing channels, including paid search, display, email, and social media. There are two main types of remarketing, pixel and list-based. Pixel-based remarketing sends ads automatically to the user after placing a cookie into their web browser that tracks the page and products they viewed. A cookie is a small file stored on devices that allow you to track user behavior and analyze traffic. When the user leaves your website and browses their social media profiles or other websites, ad networks like Google Ads or Facebook Ad Manager are notified to display specific ads to that user based on what they looked at previously. If you have the email addresses of potential customers, you can also use list-based remarketing to personalize the ads you send them. List-based remarketing uses lists of existing customers or visitors who have provided you with their email address and shows specific ads to them. Be sure to handle all user data you collect with care to protect users' privacy. Platforms like Google and Facebook hash all data when it's uploaded for this purpose. Hashing is a security method which turns the personal information in your email lists into randomized code. To start list-based remarketing, you'll upload your list of email contacts to the platform of your choice. Your audience will then start seeing your ads as they browse through that platform. Here are a few best practices for remarketing effectively on social media. Personalize your ads based on a specific audience. Rather than displaying ads to every user who visited your profile previously, segment audiences into interest-based groups. This allows you to personalize ads that specifically appeal to each group. To do this, you can create a custom audience in the platform of your choice, like this example from Twitter. Custom audiences allow you to create relevant remarketing campaigns to reach highly specific groups of people by uploading your own email list of existing customers and followers. You can also remarket to people who have purchased from you in the past. Almost half of the overall revenue from US online retailers come from repeat customers. For example, if someone purchased a toy from your company previously, you could remarket to them with additional offers on children's products. Make sure to limit the frequency with which specific users see your ad. This helps you avoid the risk of having a potential customer feel overwhelmed. It's also good practice to untag visitors who have followed through with a purchase. This helps ensure people don't see too many of your ads after they've already converted. Remarketing on social media can be a worthwhile use of your campaign ad funds. When tailored to your organization, audience, and marketing goals, remarketing can improve your reach and increase your conversion rates. Coming up, we'll talk more about how to craft an effective social media ad.